Hey coders and welcome back to this video. So today we're going to be discussing about two of the two of the really important functions in processing that is the begin safe and end safe functions in processing and how we can use these two functions to create our own custom shapes and and polygonal shapes in processing. So without any further ado, let's just get started. So the first thing that I'm going to write is the set of functions. So let's just quickly write the set of function and also we're going to be writing the draw function. So this is a draw function and inside of our set of funcio function let's just quickly set the size of our window. So I'm going to be uh, setting this size to 800 by 800 as I usually do. And then inside of our draw function let's just quickly set the background color of our window uh, to white. And then as I've already said that we're going to be writing, uh, we, we're going to be creating uh, shapes using the begin shape and end shape functions in processing. So, so bear with me and let's just get started. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to write the begin shape and the end shape functions in two consecutive lines. So. And the third thing that, that and, and the second thing that you need to do is you need to come up with points. Now it's basically creating a, a, a polygon, and you need to specify the points that you want uh, within these two functions. Uh, let's just say you, we want three different points: point here, point here, and then another point here. Then we need to specify the, the coordinates of these three points within these uh, within these functions. And we're going to be use, using this vertex uh, to specify the points. So in our vertex, let's just um, uh, specify the first point that is going to be uh, 100, comma, let's just say 200. And then the second point is going to be, okay, so uh, second point is going to be 300, comma, 200. And then the third point is going to be um, let's just say 500 comma and then 400 so these are the, the three functions these are the three points and if I run it um, you can see that these are the three points so the first point is 100 comma 200 the second point is 300 comma 200 and the, and the third point is 500 comma 400 and now uh, these are the three uh, three points and uh, and if we want to close this uh, shape we need to specify this close constant inside of our end shape so if we want to really close this these points to create a closed shape a, a closed uh, polygon then we need to pass this close as a as our argument so if we um, if we give it a run you can see uh, we have this closed shape and this is uh, any usual shape that we use in processing this could be a rectangle a, 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 uh, a triangle an ellipse or any other shape so you can just give it a fill as well so let me give it a fill of I don't know a gray color and if I give it a run you can see that it has a gray uh, fill and if you don't want any sort of fill then you can always use the no fill function of processing so uh, so this is what this is what I really wanted to discuss in this video and you can come up with any number of points so you don't have a limit you can uh, as I've already mentioned that it is used uh, to create shapes with n uh, number of sides so the n could be 5 it could be 10 it could be any uh, set of numbers so you can go on like this so I can add another point as well so let's just uh, let me add another point at 300 comma um, 200 and let me see what I get so if I give it a run you can see so uh, you can see that the, the the line is a little thick so maybe I accidentally you know uh, gave it a point uh, somewhere right here so um, let me try another point so let me give it uh, 300 and let's just give it another point something like 800 and if I run it again you can see there's a 800 300 comma 800 right here and here we have a closed shape now I think this is 
uh, this is all what I really wanted to discuss in this video and it, in our future videos we're going to be using these two functions these three functions actually um, to create interesting shapes to create interesting animations in processing and until then keep learning keep motivating me and as always happy coding